Hi friends, Alana here from LEA. Today I wanted to share one of my favorite habitats with you, vernal pools. Vernal means spring, like springtime, which is now. The pools are created by snowmelt, rainwater, and groundwater, but oftentimes will dry up in the summer and fall, only to return again the next spring. Because they dry out, no fish can live there, which is important for our other friends that do, like these wood frog eggs. Look at these eggs! Wood frogs visit the pool from their wintering grounds in the upland forest, find a mate, and lay eggs, wraps of thousands of eggs. We can tell these are wood frog eggs because of the masses, often attached to vegetation, but our real clue is that the mass has no outer surrounding membrane. The eggs are jelly-like, and you can see each individual sphere. So cool, right? Here we can see the embryos developing and moving around and out of the water we can really see those individual eggs. Pro tip, bring a frisbee to check out the egg masses, but please put them back where you found them. Once grown, the tadpoles develop into wood frogs and hop out of the pool back into the forest for the rest of their life cycle. Check out their cool mass. Another species that depends on vernal pools for breeding are salamanders. Here we can see salamander spermatophores along the pool bottom. Female salamanders come collect these to fertilize their eggs, then lay oval-shaped masses of 30 to 250 eggs each. Salamander egg masses can be clear or opaque white, as you can see here. The masses are very firm, like set jello, and have a large outer envelope called a vitellian membrane. You can see how firm they are when you lift them out of the water. These are egg masses for the yellow-spotted salamanders, but we have blue-spotted salamanders, too. A species you will find only in vernal pools are fairy shrimp. These cool crustaceans are like freshwater sea monkeys. They hatch as soon as the snow melts and swim upside down through the water. Look for their white forked tail, as they are very well camouflaged. They may move slowly or dart about as they filter bacteria, phytoplankton, and detritus. This female carries a brood pouch of eggs at the base of her abdomen. The wood frog, yellow spotted salamander, and fairy shrimp all need vernal pools, but there are other creatures who use them too like the scatasfly, who made his protective home of leaves around his body and eats algae from the eggs, and sometimes the eggs too. Mammals, reptiles, and birds all come to visit these amazing places to rest and recharge. They are a vital part of the forest ecosystem. I hope you take some time to go explore one today.